yummy. This is the shit coffee, or manure coffee, I should say. You should better make mangoes farm, then make more coffee. Now they don't farm, because the best coffee is from the wild coffee. Wait, this is the mangoes one? Yeah, that's the shit. Okay, we're at the coffee place. He's gonna show us how they grow the coffee. Try to keep up with the tour here. <laughs> hey, can you describe what this is for the folks at home? <laughs> it is the... <laughs> I can't believe this is called the shit coffee. Okay. All right. Look at this guy. Look at that. Oh my god, look at this guy. <laughs> Oh, he's got a good one. He's cute. Oh my god. He is pretty cute. I have uh, I work with a guy at home that's deathly afraid of bats. I can't wait to show him this picture. It doesn't smell like cigarettes. Huh? It doesn't smell like cigarettes. Careful, Dave. I, I want to pet you in a strange yeah, way. Yeah, but did you see the spikes on the back of his wings? Yeah. Yeah, that would probably be bad. <laughs> I'm kind of fuzzy on the whole good bad oh, thing. I'm fuzzy what on the whole good bad. Turn around a couple times. Yeah, mm -hmm. okay, copy one. Roasting the coffee. Roasting the coffee. Cooking glass. And I put it here. Then <laughs> That's how to make the coffee powder. Wow. Then the filter and then. Okay? So Ooh. this is the the, 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 the powder oh. of the coffee. coffee. Ground coffee. Well they roast the coffee before you put it in the That sounds amazing. Yes, if it does. You want to try? We're doing it together. <laughs> it's a team effort here, so it doesn't matter. Ooh. Uh, uh, yeah, that right. is. It's pretty interesting towards the jug from the backstage. Mm. Oh, okay. okay. Vanilla coffee. This is, we have chocolate coffee. This is cocoa, pure chocolate. Ooh. And this is, we have barley coffee. And these were all poop. Which is this one? Uh, cocoa, pure leather. You, you, <laughs> yeah. you guys just like, you guys just like saying it. I'm sorry. You don't even want it. You just want to say it. <laughs> Dark roast yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Now the rest of the building goes. <laughs> yep. I'm gonna try that chocolate one. Yeah. Okay, this is the poo coffee. We're gonna try it. Yes, you heard correct. Normal coffee? Yeah, that's just normal coffee. Lemon tea? Lemon tea, the yellow one. Yes. This one? Yes. Yeah. Okay, Mr. John is going to try the poo coffee. Here we are. It smells like coffee. Came out of a bat. Wow. It's actually really good. It's really good? Yeah, it's very good. Oh my god. This is uh, very expensive coffee made from poo. And uh, it was in the movie Bucket List. Is this from Mon from Mon right? Is this from a Mon All right, Mr. Chef, are you ready? Is it? Is it? Can you get like a thing of it? Wow, that's really good. It's bold. Excuse me, please try. 
Joe, how was your delicious coffee? Oh, wow. It's good, huh? Oh, yeah. Ginger coffee. My ice cream. Ginger. Yeah, ginger coffee. Ooh. It's good, huh? You should try that. Yeah. Alright, this is the ginseng coffee. Ooh, that's... Mm. Vanilla coffee. Yeah, yeah, that's brilliant. Mmm, wow. Oh, very good. Oh. This is for two well, I'll take it on the way out. You can get it there, okay? Anything you like, just have it in front of you. No, 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 that's free. That's free. That's free. Yeah, that one's free. The best price ever. The best price ever. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers, Steve. Sorry, I had to hold the camera. Good. It's very good. This is what cheers, you call coffee. Cheers, cheers, cheers. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> you just call Starbucks. This is what you call coffee. The other are shit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the other is the real shit. It's very true. This is the, the other is the real shit. <laughs> this is very tasty. All right, Starbucks. I couldn't need a right now. We've got some competition. I know. We've got they shit do coffee. Have competition. Yeah. Woo! We've got some serious coffee. What kind of coffee? Uh, it's Arabican coffee. Arabican. Excuse me. Look at this one. It's nice. Beautiful. Rice fields. Mr. Carlos's hand. <laughs> we don't have enough time to stop, so we're just driving by the rice fields. Where is the ship? The ship is here. But no one. So we are. It's like two hours at least. Lesson when we are 17 years old, both for the car and motorbike. But the difference between the, I think the, the procedure to get the driving license in your country and our country is, I think, very much different. Well, because here we can get the driving license without joining any test. <laughs> yeah, we can ha get the driving license without joining any test. Yeah. Just put five dollars under the table. <laughs> cigarette money under the table. Then we don't have to join the test. But we are well experienced. You see? A lot of people they start trying to drive the motorbike or the cars before they are fifteen years old. So they have at least two years experience in driving. Before they get the driving license. Health care and education is not for free in Bali. We have to pay for going to school. We have to pay for the book. We have to pay for the uh, school uniform. Nothing for free. And also when we go to the doctor, it's not for free. But there is a special job like working with a government as a teacher, as a policeman, as a government workers, official workers. They have more than 200 US dollars a month. Their standard salary is more than 400. US dollars, between 400 to 1,000 US dollars a month, and they get uh, health insurance from the government, and they will get the pension money. Working as a driver, a tour guide, we don't have any health insurance, and we won't get any, our pension money. Nobody will pay for that. And that's for, we try to serve the customer, we try to serve the tourists, to get some time for the salary. Still trying to get a picture of the lady carrying everything on her head. More video, sorry. There are two statues, and that's the guardian of the temple. We believe that the statue of the temple is the guard of the temple. This is the offering. Carlos! <laughs> You're not supposed to go in there. Really? Yes. Whoops. I would love to do this.
What was it, Tweety Bird? <laughs> Come on, catch up, catch up. <laughs> You're so famous, huh? Jazz Club. Mr. Yuri is excited. And there's the one of the American embassies. Uh, there it is. KFC. <laughs> Uh, 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 before, last time we were yes, here. Another American temple. No, no, Excuse me? Do you have gorillas? Gorillas? No, King Kong we don't have. Huh? We only have uh, <laughs> monkeys we call Macaca Fiscularis. Macaca Fiscular species of monkey. They are in a grey color, full of haze in their body and with the long tails. Yes. Some people said that we are human beings are monkeys a million years ago. So we are the generation from the monkeys. Is that right? I don't know. According to geology or yeah, geophysics, no, that's uh, we, we are second generation. That's the beginning. Yeah. The Balinese religion is a very unique plan of Hindu. It is the combination between uh, the Buddhist religion, the combination between the animism. As I told you, animism is we believe that that uh, the tree or the statue has a living spirit, and there is the last influence by the modern Hindu in India. That's why the Balinese religion they call a very unique blend of Hindu, which custom and tradition is very much different from the traditional form of Hinduism they practice in India nowadays. Thank you very much. Yes, yes, and Excuse me. Yes, two, 2002. 2002 yeah. Excuse me. 2002. 12 October 2002. This was a bombing, could I? It was really bad for the, the Balinese economy because, you know, we, yeah, in, in Kuta, in Bali, yeah? In Kuta. So it was really bad for the Balinese economy because we only have uh, agriculture, uh, production and, uh, uh, you know, tourism industry. So after the agriculture, we have tourism industry. We don't have any silver, we don't have any gold, we don't have any oil, even we don't have any electricity fabric in Bali. You know, we don't have any cigarette fabric in Bali. So we depend on the tourists. The, the Muslim people, they like to eat uh, a lamb, lamb soup. I think Australia, they export a lot of lamb uh, from uh, Australia to Middle East on the ship. How many years after the bombing did it take to start recovering? After the bombing? Yeah. Well, I think most of the tourists, they really understand that the Balinese people, they are innocent. The Balinese people, they are innocent people. Balinese is not their target. Their target was the Christian, I think, from the terrorists. Because most of the victims in Kuta, it was 2008, there were, well, excuse me, 208 victims. They're mostly Australian and also uh, European people, but some Balinese as well, because they work in that place. You know what the Balinese people think about reaction after the bombing? No. If we have a dirty house, the rats will come to our house. Because in Kuta, you see, it's, for me, Kuta is not Bali anymore. The place where it was exploded, the two nightclub that was ex exploded by the terrorists, it was Sari Club and Padis Pub. It's where they practice, most of the women practice the striptease. They're a striptease show. 
there's drugs and then also prostitution that is not represent the Balinese culture I think you would like Amsterdam yeah and there's something like that Kuta is not Bali so because in that two night club where they perform striptease where they practice prostitution and where they're selling drugs that's not the Bal represent Balinese culture maybe this was a warning from the God it's a warning from the God and the God doesn't protect Kuta anymore so that's why if we have a dirty house the rat will come to our house because long long years before in 1974 a lot of terrorists from I think Middle East they would like to explore Bali but the bomb was exploded before reaching Bali because on that year Bali is was still still virgins only the Hindu religion no striptease no drugs no prostitution I think the tourists they come to Bali they don't want to see that they want to see the Balinese culture right so that's why that's the reaction from the Balinese people if we have a dirty house the rats will come to our house we don't blame anybody else we blame ourselves Dalai Lama said if happy, everything happened you think somebody has fault you will suffering a lot yeah okay that's the reaction after the bombing the Suhuri, what are you going to buy? Hello. Rolex is only one L, right? Well, Rolex. Hello. No, thank you. Hey, we have the color, Hello. 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 Okay, 20, okay. Hello. Okay, 20, okay. 10 dollars. Okay. 20 bucks. 1 dollar. Hello. Okay, okay, okay. There was some guy in and he was like that. Yeah, yeah. No. Okay, so. I'm going to buy a t-shirt that's an extra large, 100% cotton. I know it's going to shrink, but it's okay. Here you go. Five dollars. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. See you next time. Bye-bye. That's the boat we came over here on. That's a pretty big boat. We're on our way back to the Radiance. It's way over there. No catamaran this time. We're on one of our tenders.